Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to He's Got Heat. Uh, I appreciate you guys for coming, for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Um, always hitting that thumbs up, knowing that I'm always bringing fresh new content to you guys. I'm going to be doing a review on the Wool 3s. I know I'm heck late. I'm like two weeks late on this review, but I'm doing this because a subscriber requested that I do a review on these Wool 3s. And as you know, I want to satisfy my subscribers and my viewers giving them the content and entertainment that they want to watch that you guys want to watch and enjoy and continue to view and to enjoy guys with that being said I'm gonna hit right now on the review on the Jordan 3 wool as you can see at first you have your red jumpman in front of the box um, you have your air Jordan on the side of the box as well and on this side you have another air Jordan on this side of course, like you guys know, a size 12, normally size 13 dependent, dep normally size 12, this is my size 12, but I'm normally a size 13 on some other shoes that run small. Um, retail price for 200. Colorway is dark gray, dark gray sale. That, that's about it. I got this off for Root Villa, which used to be, a lot of you guys know as Snicker Villa. Um, but yeah guys, um, you see? Top comes off, nothing inside. You just have your stamp here, your dimensions of the box, and we can see that no stamp inside. It's just red color. In camera, looks like a bright color. So you got your uh, elephant print paper in the inside, and uh, you have your wool uh, three Jordans. Um, dude, before I do the uh, the Jordan real quick, let me do the quick inside of the box. Like I said, elephant print paper in the inside, you know, they come with the box, and then you have this, I'm not sure what it is, I think it's YDM sticker in the inside, I'm not sure, can you see that? That's a little bit different, no stamp, but I guess you have that, and then of course, your, uh, your red color for the inside of the box. That being said, let's hit the shoes real quick, you guys. Jordan Wool 3. Guys, I, I'm not sure if I ever spoke about this shoe. I'm not really a fan of the shoe, to be honest. If I was to put a rate between 0 to 10, I would say... You know, I gotta say 0 to 10, not 1 out of 10. It's just 0 to 10, I would say probably a 3 out of 10. Reason being, guys, <clears throat> if you guys like this shoe, Go ahead, go get the shoe. Don't go by my opinions, my, you know what I mean? This is my opinion, not my fact, it's my opinion. The reason I don't like the shoe, to be honest, is the off-white color. But before I start going into this, I just do the quick review, and then I'll give you my 100% thoughts on the shoe. As you can see, we have the all-wool shoe. All-wool shoe, you see that? You have your, um, Air Jumpman in the back. You have your air in the back. Let's see if I can get a little bit closer. You can see that. I'm sorry for the lighting, you guys. Okay. You have your one, two, three, four, five lines going across. Your Jumpman is stitched in, of course. You also have your Jumpman in the front. Not sure if you can see that. Let me get a better view of this. There you go. You can see that Jumpman right there. Also, your shoelaces are also wool. Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comment, but I believe these are wool. From the looks of it, you know, they look wool to me. Um, also, you have, like I said in the beginning, your, your midsole, it's an off-white midsole. I would have preferred this to be an all-white midsole. Um, you have your air bubble unit in the bottom. On the other side, you have the same. You have your air bubble unit, of course, and also wool. On the bottom of the sole, you have your Jordan in the bottom. And um, and of course, you have the same pattern for all Jordan 3s. You have your round traction with your, your indented, your four indented pods. You have your three. You have your three um, pod as well. Not your pods, but your, 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 your traction, what you call it, forms in there. Um, and then one of the things that I thought, which 
not really, you know, I mean, important because it's inside the shoe, but, you know, you have your Jordan Jumpman, but it's green. You, I won't be able, you won't be able to catch that with the camera, I believe, but it's, it's, it's green. It's like an olive green. Um, okay, guys, now these are my opinions and my thoughts on the shoe. Do I like this shoe? Uh, not really. Why did I get the shoe? Like I said in the beginning, I got the shoe because it was a subscriber requesting me to do a review on a shoe yesterday. And today, I'm doing my review for you, my man, or or female, hopefully, <laughs> my man, wh whoever it was, but I'm thinking it's more uh, of a male. But anyways, guys, it's because I'm doing this, guys, for you guys, you know. You wanted something, I went for the hunt today, and I, and I, and I went, then I'm doing a review on it. Um, that being said, that's like my biggest ugh, of the shoe, honestly. If it would have been a nice white, I would have liked the shoe a lot, a lot, a lot better. But it's just, I, I can't stand the off-white on the shoe. I just, I really can't. Uh, I, I don't like it. Um, the wool, you know, it, it's a more, you can tell it's a more winter shoe. Especially January and February where I'm at in Pennsylvania, it's very cold. The inside of the shoes are very cushiony though, by the way. Very, very cushiony. I like that about the shoe. It, it's it's very very cushiony. I, I do like that. I'm not gonna lie. For for good comfort, your tongue is very plush. Yeah, I would say it is. Um, feels nice. Feel great. Feels great. It does. Um, the wool feels nice. It's, it's, it's gonna be a warm shoe to be honest. Is it a summer shoe? Mm, no, but. It's it's it, it, it's more it falls more in the category of a winter shoe, uh, just like the uh, the, the wool twelves. Uh, but that being said, you guys, this is really my review on the shoe. I hope you enjoy this. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. Um, always hitting that thumbs up and always leaving the comments down below. And I will always try to get to you guys one by one. Um, also, I really do hope you really did enjoy this. And also, guys, I want to remind you that, uh, like I said. I'm shooting for that 100 subscriber and uh, once I hit that 100 subscriber guys you know I'm doing a giveaway and then we'll go on from there and I hope you guys enjoy this video and